Hey, Ashley. Hello. We're here, we're here with Ashley today. Hey guys. Amazing. <laughs> um, Ashley, do you want to tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do? I am a singer and guitarist mm -hmm. um, from a place called Random Island, which is off the coast of Canada, but cool. I now live here in the UK. Do, do you think that, you know, because people want different things, do you think it's important for you to be super versatile for, for when you're going out for, for weddings and whatnot? Yeah, 100%. And I, I, you know, from the beginning, I recognize that. And I'm really relieved because um, I hate being pigeonholed. I hate playing one type of music, one genre over and over again. Sure. So it's it's fantastic because I get a chance to play music from, you know, all kinds of time periods and straight across the board when it comes to genre from, you know, rock to folk. And, and I love that. I, I don't get bored. So that's... Yeah. What will be your favorite type of music? If you had to nail it down to like a decade or five years, where would that be? Early, the early 2000s. Early 2000s. Oh know, my God. I'm I so know, glad you said that. I know, I know. Thing. But it's, it's what I grew up. Mm. So, um, yeah, yeah so. I can't help it. I mean, I think maybe, maybe objectively, I know that that's maybe not the best. Yes, um, it is. Time of course it is. <laughs> but to me, yeah, it's, I think it's, it's definitely one of my favorites. I love being able to sing from all kinds of, um, you know, decades, but I think the late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. And isn't it ironic? Something that we've noticed a lot this year is that a lot of couples are starting to choose songs that maybe are a little bit different and you know, for, for a long time we've had maybe the obvious wedding songs or mm -hmm. the obvious four or five songs people mm -hmm. can pick to, mm -hmm. to walk down the aisle. Are you noticing this too that maybe you get the odd request here and there that you think oh I've not really heard that at a wedding before or, or whatever. Yeah definitely um, and it's a breath of fresh air it's really mm -hmm. nice um, and I think I get to play more of the songs that I really enjoy playing and I think if you if you love if you love performing um, the song, then it always sounds better, it always comes across better, and yeah. everyone seems to enjoy it more. So, yeah, definitely. Amazing. And I, and I love taking requests. Um, it's, I think it keeps me on my toes, but also because I learned to play quite organically. Um, I can generally, um, I, I learn to play by ear. So, if I can hear a song, chances are you, um, you I can, can learn to play yeah. it. Yeah. So, um, what about those requests that, because obviously you're solo acoustic, mm -hmm. what about mm -hmm. songs that aren't acoustic songs? Is it fun for you to kind of yeah. strip them down and yeah, yeah, take yeah. it to its bare bones? And, and it's a question I get a lot. Do we need to look at um, kind of acoustic versions of songs? And I say, absolutely, 100% not, because you know, you want something that's going to be special to you. You sure. want a, a bespoke experience. So, we don't want to just copy what somebody else is doing. So, yeah. if you can pick a song, song that is really special to you or really works um, for the occasion, then we can turn it into something, we, you know, we, we can acoustify it um, yeah, yeah. Uh, for you and it'll be something that no one's done before. So I really enjoy that. Um, it's something I think unique, it's, it's, isn't it? Because it is. You it's, know, if, if you're walking down the aisle mm -hmm. to uh, a CD or, or whatever it is that people mm -hmm. have on, like that's just a song that everyone's heard and whatever, mm -hmm. but if somebody's playing it at that moment, you know that that that's the only time anyone's going to ever hear that exact live version yeah. and it's at that yeah, yeah. moment which is really special except I've had a couple of couples who have actually um, a couple of couples gone and, a like couple that. of couples <laughs> that have gone and we've actually done recordings of their Walk Down the Aisle song because cool. they really enjoyed it so um, they got to hear it on repeat um, oh, okay. but um, yeah I think there's something really special about that because you know it is it's music is so powerful and it can bring back loads of emotions so I think it's really cool that people get to tailor that you sure. know, to their own experience and make it really unique Cool. Um, finally, what advice would you have for anyone who's looking to book a, maybe a solo acoustic performer like yourself for their wedding? Um, wow, I'm not sure. Maybe, you know, I kind of, I kind of think that sometimes because I, I perform mainly as a, a solo acoustic act, of course I do also have, I play in other formations as well. Yeah. Um, but when it comes to um, a solo format, maybe think outside of the box a little bit because a lot of times I get requests for songs that are songs that have been done lots of times before, like you said earlier, because they are singer, solo, female, um, acoustic guitar playing songs, which is cool and that is fun. But like vice versa, right? a guy can sing a, a, a female yeah, led totally. song and you can sing yeah, yeah, a, yeah. a guy led song as well. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, don't don't be afraid. Get outside to... the box. Don't yeah, get outside. Yeah, get outside, outside the, the box. box. Yeah. Cool, awesome advice. Well, Ashley, yeah. Thank you again. If you want to see more of Ashley, uh, take a look on the mobile profile. And thanks for having a chat with us. Thank you. You've got a fast car. Is it fast enough that we can fly away? We gotta make a decision.